Hi guys, this is Fab from PureMix.net and I'm going to show you the new Dangerous Source. What's the Dangerous Source? It's a high fidelity professional portable monitoring system. In English it means that it's something you can pop in your laptop bag and when you go on the road you can still hear music in a good quality environment. It's got four inputs, two analog inputs and two digital inputs. Of the two digital inputs there's one AES slash SPDIF one and there's an USB one with a built-in converter, super high quality, 24-bit, 192K, asynchronous converter, really amazing sounding thing. Um, the two analog inputs, you have one with combo jacks, so it's XLRs or TRS, you don't have to carry any accessories, which is kind of cool. And the other one is a small eighth inch for your iPod input or your iPad or your iPhone, or if you're on the other side, your Google phone or anything that has an eighth inch. Why is that there? Because a lot of us just, you know, reference our mixes with an eighth inch. The really geeky stuff is that the input to the eighth inch is actually calibrated so that iPhone is Unity. Now that's geeky. What else does it do? It's got two separate sections. One control room section and one headphone section. So the control section is for you, the engineer, and the phone section is for, well, you know, your singer or somebody like that. The beauty is you can actually have one selection for the control room section and one selection for the phone section and they can be different. That's very nice. You have two speaker outputs. They can be on together at the same time or they can be XOR. So you can use this actually as a main and small speaker or as a main plus sub and control the sub on and off. Or whatever else you will come up with which I'm sure is something that they didn't think of. The cool thing is you can actually enter setup mode right here and then it flashes like this and you have these three buttons. I'm going to show you on the phone side. So now when I do this, all the inputs slash. You can have all the inputs on at the same time, or only two if you want to. Lots of applications to this. You can jam over a CD, you can listen to different sources, you can set yourself up your own talkback system. If you're a composer, you can use it to put the dialogue track on and off without having to go with your mouse. It's a very practical way to work. And you can have it be on both sides or either sides or whatever you want. You also have pass-throughs or line-outs. So for example, if you have USB selected here. Of course, this is going to control your speakers. But the lineouts, the analog lineouts, are unaffected by the volume control, which means you can use them for metering or you can use them for whatever, front of house or another set of speakers, anything you want to do. It also has an AES SPDIF pass-through, which is very useful in many cases. Digital meters comes to mind. Also, say if you have an A to D converter, you can plug it in there and use a pass-through to send it to your recorder. You'll come up with something different, I'm sure. Imagine if you're a DJ, say you use Tractor, you never know. You can select your ESB input, that's your mains, that's the control room listening, that's your phones, and then you still have the line out to send to the front of the house, which is very practical, and it sounds like a dangerous piece of gear, which is very nice. So that's the box. Two digital ins, two analog ins, two sets of speakers, a control room side, a headphone side, great sounding converter in it. Lots of little tricks, you can make it do things. It brews coffee, it solves the world peace problem. It's made by Dangerous. If you have any other questions, ask your Sweetwater sales engineer. Ciao.